Uh, I'm in the uh, in the Hall of Science over at uh, in Queens in Flushing Meadow Park. I don't know. There's this guy across from me. He looks vaguely familiar. I don't know what the heck he does. Hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Tom Jones. Uh, the singer, huh? No, the astronaut. Oh, oh the astronaut. A real astronaut? Like real? For real? The real stuff. The right stuff. Ah, oh, come on. What did you do? I got to ride four times on the space shuttle. I was a crew member on the shuttle starting in 1994. That was my first uh, shuttle mission. and I had the last one in 2001. Trip to the space station, and where I helped build the space station by adding the U.S. laboratory to the station. That's where I got to do three spacewalks up there. No kidding. Yeah, no kidding. What was it like? Uh, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I think the two best things about uh, the space experience are a fantastic view of the Earth, and you can see where you grew up, or you can see where your family grew up. You can see all of American history laid out there. It's just like a geography textbook. Wow. Growing up. So the view of the Earth is awesomely beautiful. And then the second, I th the second part of the experience is just uh, sharing that with other human, human beings on your crew. So my astronaut friends became... Uh, part of an experience that we both that we all share together uh, it's a peak life experience and so the friendships I made on those trips into space are gonna last a lifetime like were you like when you were kids said I think I want to be an astronaut when I grow up well not everybody has that experience uh, a lot of people come to that calling late uh, after they've already started on some of their career but for me it was very much growing up as a kid in the space race in the 60s and wanting to get to be like my heroes, the astronauts, either that or a baseball player, uh, so on the Orioles. But um, growing up in Baltimore, I wanted to get my uh, ticket to space. And so my heroes were the, the Mercury and the Gemini and the Apollo astronauts, and I really wanted to get uh, into their business. So that's the path I embarked upon. So you, you never, like, I mean, you walked out, like, you know, into the air and like out of the out of the space. Yeah, ship? well, I, I was a construction worker, so uh, on ah. my trip to orbit on the shuttle Atlantis, I got to go outside with my partner Bob Kirby, and we spent about 19 hours outside doing wiring connections and connecting and spinning up bolts with our power tools and um, building the exterior of the space station uh, to let it expand for future scientific research. So. We were really hard hat construction workers, but 220 miles up, going five miles a second in the vacuum of space. When you first, like when you first started doing this, like, did you get nauseous or things or whatever, did, trying to deal with how they train you, like going really you, quick and all that? You were very, very well prepared. The training is so good that uh, when I first got into space and uh, wound up in free fall or in zero G on the shuttle, I was completely at home. I really felt like I knew where everything was, what all the switches did. They really had trained me well for that. Now, the, the physical part of the experience they can't prepare you for. Uh, being blasted off the planet, you get from the launch pad to space in eight and a half minutes. It's just an incredible rush. Uh, acceleration pushing you back into your seat with triple the force of gravity. So I weighed about 500 pounds on the way to orbit. Uh, that's just an, an incredible physical experience, as, as if you were being hurled into space by this machine, the space shuttle. And uh, when you arrive there, you know, some people get a little queasy. I sort of did, uh, but we have some pretty effective medicine for that. If you want to read the details, they're all, all the gory details are in my book, Skywalking, an astronaut's memoir. Ah, look how he's pushing his book. Just Wait. a little plug. It's okay. It won't be all right. I don't mind doing that. Did you see the movie Gravity? I haven't seen it yet. Ah, you should. Uh, it's a very, very good survival story. It's really, the core of the story is about the human determination to survive and to not give up in the face of almost insurmountable odds. So it happens to be set in space, and you've got George Clooney, you've got Sandra Bullock, and the visual effects are really stunning and quite realistic, uh, especially in the depiction of free fall or zero gravity around the, uh, as you fly around the planet. Um, and they, you know, every now and then there'll be a little shortcut that they take with physics, but it's not noticeable to most uh, moviegoers, and it's all in the service of making the story even more compelling. So I guess you re related to some of it? Yeah, well, uh, you know, when they model yeah. George Clooney after you, you have to... Oh, well, like well, well that's great to know. <laughs> no, I'm just making that up. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the depiction of the astronauts uh, is 
visually very realistic. All their equipment, all the way their tethers and gear float in space. The view of the Earth is almost as stunning in this movie as the real thing. Uh, so it's quite a good effort. And uh, I think that, as again, the, 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 the ripping good survival story is really what draws you along. That's great. Well, thanks a whole bunch. I may have something to talk to you about a little later. I'm always available for questions. Okay. Bro.